Okay, students and parents, here we go. We're going to go live. So tomorrow, well, maybe maybe you're watching this on Thursday, August 13th, when we actually are live, and it's 8.44 and 38 seconds, and your kid's like, Mom, Dad, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And you're, and you're like, oh, my gosh, I missed something. What do I need to do? Here's how you get into school on the first day. You're going to go to the main Cockrell website, CockrellMS.com, right here. Click here for MISD Canvas. Click there, and oh my gosh, there it is. Now, as a teacher, mine's going to look a little bit different than yours, but you can get the gist of what it is. Your student's going to log in, I believe, using their six-digit student ID number and password. I don't know what those are. I sure hope that's what it is, but I hope that's how you log in. But anyway, when you you click go, pray that you get on, get on, and your screen may look something similar to this. Again, this is the teacher end of it, so I don't know how what it looks like for you guys. Now, hopefully your student's schedule is right in there near you so you can see where they need to go. You can move these tiles around through these little buttons, by the way, and you can move, move down, move to bottom, all that kind of stuff. Or if you click on another one, you can move to the top. And I think you can even customize your color. I don't know. But anyway, this is what it looks like on my end. So certainly you can do something similar on yours. Okay, so it's first period, it's 845. Click on the class. Now, I'm gonna turn on student view to show you what your kids will see. Every class should have something that looks like this, where it tells you click the link, the Zoom link on the left in your navigation to get to class today. Zoom, click on that. And we, as a faculty, should have a recurring meeting and you would just click on join. Okay, so make sure that you're in the correct period. So you'll need to have your schedule nearby so you can refer to that. Um, and make sure that you're in the right place at the right time. Now, for my students, what I did in every single orchestra class, I'll show you this, there's a files. So go ahead and go find your orchestra class. I'm going to keep sticking with the one that I'm in right now. And I'm going to click on files. I went ahead and put a picture of the bell schedule. So you can see first period is 845 to 932. Club Creed, 936 to 956. Second period, 10 to 1047. Here's where it gets a little dicey. Your schedule should tell you this. I'm hopeful that it does because I don't know what lunch you would have or any of that stuff. Sixth period is here, 214 301. Seventh period, 305 to 352. And then you are done. So just to clarify, like if you have an A lunch, B lunch, or C lunch, these times are when you actually take your lunch. So that's when you will do that, okay? Now, um, you can just close that out right there. As I said before, every teacher should have this. So if you're still confused, like with your, like whatever course you're in, you can't find the Zoom link, then you need to email that teacher and say, hey, I can't find the stuff, what, what do we need to do? But this is how we're all supposed to do it. You click on join and then I'm hoping that it should prompt you to um, download the Zoom app if you don't have it already. It should, uh, hopefully you have it. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. And from there, you, your child will be able to have their learning and stuff and be awesome and it'll be great and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So if you have any questions related to orchestra, please reach out to me via email. I'll help you out. If it's general like Canvas stuff, I might be able to help, but most likely not. I'll probably refer you to somebody else on campus that's much better at this than I am. But I just wanted to show you what to look for on day one. So again, let me go back to, I don't know if you don't know if it'll let me go to the dashboard. Yeah, okay, I'm, in, I'm still in student view. So let me go, let me leave that. Your child should have something that looks like this, okay? With all their classes. Mine are set up like this for me. It's a long story. I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but there you go. I hope that your first couple of days work out really well, and I will see you soon.